hello so this is gonna be a maybe a five to six minute video um, I just wanted to say that I bought the Alpha Foxtrot S S15 uh, 2011 last night um, and it's actually already on the way it was on the way this morning when I woke up so it was drop shipped uh, super quick it's on the way to my FFL should have it probably in a couple of days um, I also ordered three extra S15 Gen 3 mags hopefully they will get here before the gun but I highly doubt it uh, because I didn't buy extra shipping like uh, I didn't those will be here probably in a week um, that gun's probably it's probably a, a two day shipping or something like that so um, the gun will probably get here before the mags, but that's okay. We'll just hold off until the mags get here before going to the range and, and doing a firing session. Um, I'm thinking the gun will fit in my current carry holster, which is a Tenacore Curtum 3. We will see. Uh, the gun version I bought, so they have two versions. So I bought it from Battle Hawk, Hawk Armory. So... The latest version of the gun on the uh, Alpha Foxtrot website is they offer what's called their Gen 2. So it has the uh, the bob cut, and that's common. That's the, that they'll whatever version they have, it's it's all bob cut. Um, so the gun is being sold with the bob cut and with a non-threaded barrel and with the bob cut and a threaded barrel I got the threaded barrel um, don't be deceived by the pictures on the, the Alpha Foxtrot website regarding the gun because that gun has an optic so the perception is is that the gun is optics ready it's not optics ready yet um, there's a little uh, banner on the website that says um, that the optic version isn't ready won't be ready until mid-June I didn't want to wait that long and I figure if I really needed that because I, I don't I don't think I don't anticipate carrying this gun um, but if I change my mind I could just find someone to to cut the optic in into the slide just find a place that specializes in that um, basically that that's it uh, why did I change my mind um, well, originally, here's, here's a thought. Originally, I was supposed to buy the Alpha Fox Drop S15 along with the Bull Armory SAS 2 UL. I changed my mind with the Alpha Fox Drop when I started reading it, that people were having issues with, you know, during, you know, with customer service and warranty support. Uh, to the point to where I decided I'd hold off. But since then, I've actually talked with, uh, with the Alpha Foxtrot team at least twice so they're reachable now one was via Instagram one was via their contact us uh, email chat thingy on their website um, I haven't called in I haven't had a need to uh, but they answer my questions in both cases um, so they're reachable and they're they're cordial they're professional and everything like that but that's a little bit different than actually re returning a a broken gun or having an issue with a part or something like that so the idea is, is here, here's what I'm planning I'll get the gun if I don't have any issues we're good to go if I do have issues I reach out to the customer support and we test their customer support and we report about it online you know on, on you know on YouTube um, so if things get bad and I just want to sell the gun I just sell the gun, uh, get it in a in a state to where it's working, where it should. But if you know if, if it's an issue of being reliable and trustworthy, especially if I decide if I decide I want to carry the gun, um, I sell it and move on. So no big deal for me, right? Um, I don't lose anything. I'm, I probably won't lose much. I'll just be a little bit frustrated. Uh, but on the flip side, I have yet to see anyone that says that they've had an issue with this particular gun and, you know, 
they actually own it.